If you use a Blackmagic A10 mini device, you already know how powerful they can be. Now, personally, I use the Extreme ISO version that allows me to connect up to eight HDMI inputs and ISO record each one of those inputs. Now, along with inputting cameras into my A10 mini, I also bring in my iPad device as well. And in this video, I wanna share with you how to connect your iPad to your device and also draw on the output of it as well. Hey, what's going on everybody? Monty Weaver here. And if you're coming back to the channel, make sure you hit the like button on this video. And if you're brand new, do me a huge favor and hit that red subscribe button if you wanna see more videos just like the one you're about to watch. Now, one of the things that I actually do outside of YouTube is actually consult, teach, and train other entrepreneurs on how to grow leveraging the power of video and social media. And an aspect that is important to the training is my iPad. So I like to actually draw on my iPad using the whiteboard application to give the visual of what's going on. I'm gonna actually show you how I draw on the whiteboard first, and then I'm gonna show you how you can draw on your A10 mini output second. So make sure you stay tuned for the whole length of this video. Let's get started by using the whiteboard app. So now if we take a look at the preview of the A10, we see that input number eight is my iPad device. And this is simply done by using one HDMI cable and a lightning dongle from Apple. And I'll link to these devices in the video description. Once we have our device connected, I'm gonna bring up the whiteboard app and I'm gonna switch to input number eight and we can now see our whiteboard through our A10 mini device. So going back to the question of how do you connect your camera and your audio, I'm going to say this is our camera and we have an audio mixer, which is the best way to capture your audio for live streaming. And then we're gonna connect our camera to our computer. We'll say this is a PC. And we're also going to connect our audio mixer to our PC as well. And then from our PC, we're going to use a platform like OBS to live stream to YouTube and to Facebook. So it's pretty easy to use a whiteboard app on an iPad and bring it in through your ATEM as another input source. And I just really like being able to use it for teaching. Now, another thing that you can do, which I found on the Here to Record YouTube channel was how to draw on your ATEM. And when I saw that video, it intrigued me because I've always been looking for some type of Telestrator type of application. But most of them are really complex to set up and they really don't work as easy as I want to. I really want something that's really simple and plug and play. And I'm gonna show you how I'm able to do that thanks to that video. Now, in order to do this, you will need the app Live App Pro. And it does cost $39.99 in the App Store. But in some cases, I know it's gonna be very useful to you all that really want to do some type of telestration on your ATEM device. So once you're in the App Store and once you purchase it and download it, we're gonna open up the Live App Pro software. And once you open up the software, you'll see that my iPad input on number eight has turned into a green screen. Now, what we're going to do is actually go into the draw section of the app. And then we're going to select on capture. This is now going to capture the output of our ATEM. Now, to clean this up a little bit, we'll jump into our capture number one. And I'm going to recapture because this unfortunately only works with the real-time capture of the video. You're not gonna be able to record the live output during the duration of this capture process. So we're gonna recapture, and it's gonna capture the output of input number one. And now that it's captured input number one, now I can begin to draw on my ATEM essentially. So I'm gonna grab my red pen here, and I'm going to highlight the microphone that's in the background and you can see that on the ATEM I actually have it drawn on the software. So on the output of the ATEM you've seen that I've drawn a box around the microphone in the background and I can also draw in that empty space over my shoulder and say I would love to have some type of poster in the background right there in real time. So I'm able to capture a specific moment in time and actually telestrate using this Live Pro app. Now, once you're done with the telestration, you can simply select clear and you'll be back to your normal setting where you can go and recapture another input. So I'll switch over to camera two and now I begin to draw on this one and I can draw in the background there. 
I can draw a circle around the TCL bag down there in the corner, and I can highlight the A10 Mini device over there on the right. So it's a pretty cool way to telestrate using an application and it's a very simple process. So if you haven't started using your iPad device inside of your Blackmagic production, hopefully this video gives you a reason to take a look at it and some of the benefits of actually doing it. If you guys like this video, make sure you check out the next ones and I'll see you there.